Right now, there are millions of data packets traveling at nearly 99.7% of the speed of light. Just so you can watch this video. Crazy, isn't it? Well, that's basically the internet. Everything started on October 4, 1957, when the Soviets launched the first satellite from Sputnik. In response, the USA created DARPA for surveillance of the Soviets and is responsible for negative missions. To foster communication among scientists, they built the ARPANET. The ARPANET and the internet use a method of transferring data, called packet switching. When we want to send a text file or a picture, packet switching cuts that picture or text into little parts so that it can be transferred more quickly. Once it's transferred, it gets reassembled on the receiver's computer. Now that you know the origins of the internet, let's now discuss the title of the video. How the internet works. The main part of the internet or the backbone of the internet is the national service provider like Google or Smart. They provide full access to the internet, including servers from YouTube and Google. Then we have ISPs which supply the internet connection. Finally, we have the final layer, the router, and the modem. The router is connected to the physical line of the internet. This cable is a fiber optic cable that transfers pictures, videos, and messages through light impulses, which is much more faster than the traditional copper one. The modem has antennas to transmit the signals wirelessly, and it has internet ports so that it can transmit the internet through a cable. Fun fact! Did you know that the first message that was sent on the ARPANET was supposed to be login, but the only letters that got through were L and O. They tried a second time, and the only word that went through was the letter L. So you could say the first message that was sent on the internet was long. To recap, you watch this video through YouTube. What happens is that you request to see this video. This request is sent to Google's servers and is received. Then they break down the video into tiny bits. Those bits get sent in different ways so that they can reach their destination more quickly. When all the bits meet their destination, they get reassembled so that you can watch the video.